Good morning, everybody. We are here at Mount Sinai Lane and we have a beautiful home, but we have one big problem. And the problem is it's completely empty. And here at Miracle Homes, we're trying to help people envision their futures. And I'm just wondering how we can make this look a lot better. So we've kind of convinced the owner that staging is the way to go. And so I've invited Calvin from SFR Home Staging and his whole team to see what they can do today. Hey, Calvin. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Thank yeah. you so much for being here today no with problem. us. Yes. So what kind of challenge are you facing? <laughs> <laughs> the challenge is the space is good, but we have no idea how to show people how they can live basically because mm. you know if you talk about having space for a sofa, how big is a sofa? Mm. If you talk about dining area, how many people can we sit at the dining area? Mm. You know, things that you would see at a show flat but we don't even have here because the owners have moved out, mm. it was previously tenanted, so this doesn't look like a home yet. Yeah, so you look very bare, very empty. Super empty. So you can't even see the sense of space, you know, mm -hmm. from photos. Okay, yeah, okay. What do you think you can do? We have to see the space, we have to see what is the issue and then from there we see what we can do. Okay, let's go check okay, it out. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, we have very nice high ceilings, 3.1 meters, and the sense of space here is really great. You have a lot of different options for layout. The question is what layout will be best. Mm -hmm. And behind, we have this dining area. Upstairs, we do have three ensuite bedrooms, as well as a family area. And behind this dining area, we also have a study room. There's also bonus roof terrace on the top. So it is very, very very spacious but it's nothing it's the, the energy is very low so oh, I like how he's talking about energy <laughs> so are you going to raise the energy for us how long do you need give us half a day I see what we can do yeah yeah it's in your good hands <laughs> So now we are one hour into the staging, right? So uh, some of the furniture has already been, been set up and we are setting up at different areas. So I'm going to bring you through the whole house, level one, level two, and level three, okay? So this is the living area and the dining area. Usually the living and dining is the last one to be done, right? So they just set things around so it doesn't block the place, right? So there will be a sofa here and a eight-seater dining set on the other side, right? So let's see the other area. We have a... Uh, study room here. The furnitures are in but it's not set up yet, right? So everything is being placed, ready to be set up, right? And there's a kitchen where we set up the accessories. It's already almost done. We will always do a final touch-up later when we go through the whole house, okay? So let's go to a second and third level. So this is the master room. Usually we will try to get the bedroom done up as soon as possible. The king size bed was set up, the accessories is being put. We also iron the linen sets, right? So with all the linens and the deco, the cushions. Later we will just walk around to just do some more touch up. If we need it, if we need it, we will add in extra accessories. Same thing for the other side, right? Uh, the accessories is not up, we probably will put some more cushions and accessories on this area. Right. And also, we are going to stage the toilets. Right. right now, it's empty. Later, we will see how the toilet accessory will be set up. Okay. Let's see the other room. Okay, so we are in the midst of setting up the second room. The furniture is being placed according to where we feel that is the right space. And later, they will be putting in the linen sets, the accessories, the cushions, and all the decos at the same time. Okay. Probably take another half an hour, most of the things will be ready. Okay, let's see the last level. So now we are at level 3. Level 3 is to be set up as a kids area, whereby we will have bin bags, kids furniture and some of the accessories here. And also we have the attic whereby there's outdoor space. So right now it's raining, so probably later they will bring in the furniture to be set up outside. Alright, so let's give us some time and we should be done in a while. How do you find the face? What's your first impression? Oh wow! Oh my goodness! I love this rose gold mirror table! 
You like the like, space, the accessories, the furniture. Feels more like I would buy this house now. Yeah. Feel more like home, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem was that, you know, when you have no sense of how big the space is, you don't really understand that this can fit, you know, your whole family or not. So, even though this is not the bigger sofa that like I've seen, of course mm. you could actually push an even bigger sofa over there. Yeah, yeah. To have like what you said, right, the energy and the life, I think is just so important. Correct. Yeah, and I like how you kind of put like art on the sides so that it just gives that sense of vibrancy to the space. Yeah, yeah. it looks like a showroom now. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I love these. This is the kind of things that you see, you know, in the show flats. It's an invitation for you to come and live in this place. So we want to sell this house, by the way. So <laughs> God help us. If you have viewers, they're going to spend more time looking at the whole space, looking at the furniture. And even like the little plant in the corner, yeah, kind of like adds that green spot into what is otherwise it's a dead corner. Yeah. So just showing how you can put a plant there is really good. Shall we see the rest of the space? I'm so excited. Ah! A study room! Oh my gosh! This sofa bit is long enough for you to see that it's the same length as a single bit, right? Yes, So if correct. you wanted this to be a guest room, you could reinstate this into a real wall because now it's glass wall if you're buying the house. And you know, you can actually make this a proper guest room. Yes. Because right? the common toilet is just opposite. Correct. And there's a shower. So it's so much easier for you when you are doing viewings. The buyers or the viewers can visualize the yes. space. Yeah. Yes. I think our owner is going to be super happy because I don't even think they previously decorated the space as nicely as it is. So. <laughs> How about the kitchen? Was the kitchen like anything? Oh. Check it out. Yeah. Well, you know, this is real life. You know, in real life, we order McDonald's in because of all tukang eh, tukangan. Yeah. Yeah. So we have put up all the accessories like what you will see in the Okay, so imagine without the McDonald's, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. I think you're right in the sense that, you know, if, if there wasn't anything to look at here, I may not stay in the space for so long because there's nothing to look at. But the fact that there's like a point of visual interest with this like bread set up, you know, and even like pots and pans, it does make me feel like my eyes want to travel and look at the space a bit more so it's a very good point and that's why staging your home is a worthy investment especially if you want to get the price and to get the buyers in wow this is small touches small touches all right you what else do we have the toilet oh so just adding like a, some towels and some flowers potpourri just to make it feel a bit more warm yes I think I need to do this for my own toilet lah. I don't even put this on my own toilet lah. I also want one I, uh... <laughs> After this, I go florist. <laughs> Let's go up. I feel like I'm the homeowner already and I'm like getting surprised. You want to buy this property yourself? <laughs> so this is the level 3, the kids area. Oh yes, we have the bean bags. And this cute little chair, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, so this space is envisioned to be like a family lounge. And yeah, I mean like kids can just kind of like bounce around in the bean bags. Cute little writing table for them if they want to yeah. do some coloring or some toys. Looking so, out into yeah, that. Yeah, the space actually, the view yeah. is actually very nice. That's great. You know, I actually have a set like that at home, very similar on my roof terrace actually. Yeah, I mean it's just like the kind of like square table with the glass. You know, because previously there was nothing here, it was totally bare. So with this set, at least we get a sense of, you know, you can definitely sit more than four people. I mean, we could have even one more set over there. We have an entire roof party for you guys. So, yeah. Let's go check out the rooms. I'm very curious to see what we did with the rooms. Let's go. Oh, wow. My daughter would love to have this room. It's so cozy and it just shows like the brightness of the space and it highlights and uses the space of the room the most effectively. I mean, I think when we were talking about staging, like me and Calvin were thinking, should we put the bed here or should we put the bed here? And I think this is definitely the right decision to have green on that side and then still be able to feel like when I walk into the space, like I see this very welcoming bed. And if we wanted, I thought we, I think we can still put like a small study table here if we really wanted. I want to buy one of these. 
Can 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 we can talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I used to have one in my old house, and then after that, it got sunken in. So previously it was totally empty. We yeah. don't know whether we can fit a king size or a queen size. So this is a queen size. I think you can even figure it out. Put two single bed for two kids if you want to. Oh yes, that's true. Yeah. All right. Shall we see the master room? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is our king size bed. You know, I always aspire to have pillows in my house like that, but I never get around to doing it. So every time I see a bed like that, I'm like, oh, I need to do this in my house. I love this. Yeah. Yes. So this is a king size and still with room to spare, right? Yes. So if we wanted to actually have like a slightly larger bed frame, this can still accommodate. And I think the lamps give a very nice touch, like a warmth. And, and, and I myself haven't bought lamps yet, so I'm just like, all these things need to be done for my own house. Yeah. <sighs> Can you imagine when you come in, you are thinking about all this and your viewers will be start thinking yes, about Yes, it's all almost these like an inspiration, right? Like you are inspiring them as to eventually how would they decorate the house. So I think that's such a great point, you're right. Yeah, it's kind of like how we always have to go do launch home just to get ID yeah. inspiration. Right? Or you go to IKEA and then you start <laughs> looking at all the IKEA showroom. Yeah. Yes, it's true, it's true. Yeah. Oh, and here there is a nice sitting area which is very cool so this space you can do a lot of things uh, so for now we just put two sitting area reading yeah, corner yeah 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 i mean it gives you a sense of this it becomes like your own personal sanctuary you can read your book you know you can have a coffee in the morning whatever you feel like doing do your quiet time i think this is very good use to show that besides just the main bedroom like the bed itself like the master bedroom has actually quite this big area we also have the toilet. Oh yes, the toilet. Last but not least, the toilet. These are very nice touches, just small touches, you know. Again, to give that vibrancy and life and towels, little cute plants. Yeah, I like that. And it's very funny because like usually you would think like the towels, if you were at home, you know, if you do a normal home tour, you think like towels very messy, but you guys did the towels so neatly. <laughs> Just like walking into a hotel Yeah, toilet. yeah, again, an invitation This is an invitation So, wow, this is very cool Thank you, SFR Home Staging Thank you! Thank you! Thank you Thank you Thank you! I want to make a big shout out to Kelvin and his team Especially when you see something that has been done from completely scratch When you saw it was totally bare And now it's actually got life and it's got energy It's going to be so helpful in presenting this house to its next miracle owners yes. So, yes! Thank you so much Kelvin, what else do you want to share about your company and what, what you do? I think uh, what we do is to transform home. We want to help owner, we want to help the realtor to sell the house faster or higher price, right? So I think everyone should consider staging. So anyone who is interested, you can look for, for us. And if you're going to sell your home, you can look for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> High five! Yeah. <laughs>